Um, we've been led to believe that carbon dating can be used for 20,000, 30,000 BC or something. We get these pictures of sort of prehistoric um, people. The thing about carbon-14 is it cannot be calibrated beyond 3,000 BC for the simple reason you can't test it against any kind of historical records. And uh, even, actually, within the last centuries or last few thousand years, you have a lot of um, wrong readings. In fact, over 50% of them get rejected. It makes you wonder whether the, why the less than half of them even get accepted in the first place. <clears throat> Dr. Libby was the person who discovered carbon dating, and he actually said himself, the first shock Dr. Arnold and I had was that our advisors informed us that history extended only back 5,000 years. We'd initially thought that we would be able to get samples along the curve back to 30,000 years, put the points in, and then our work would be finished. We learned rather abruptly that these numbers, these ancient ages, are not known. In fact, it is about the time of the first dynasty in Egypt that the last or the earliest historical date of any real certainty has been established. So we're looking at the last uh, 5,000 years.